Enjoy your new truck. No, no, man, what? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson is one of the biggest actors in Hollywood today, and when it comes to his net worth, you know that he has a lot of money and he spends a lot of it on crazy things. You don't want to miss this video because today we'll be showing you 10 crazy things The Rock spends his billions on. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. His cars. Do you want to win any of these items on the screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be a crazy things list if we didn't talk about all the rides that The Rock has gotten over the years, and with the amount he's worth, he can afford a lot. Like a Cadillac Escalade, a Ford F-150, a Rolls Royce Wraith, a Plymouth Prowler, some trucks for his late father, his uncle, and more. It'd be fair to say that he spent millions on various rides over the years, and with all the money he's making via movies, you can bet that he's going to be getting more rides over the next long while. Miami Mansion For those of you who don't know, Dwayne Johnson not only went to college, he went to the legendary Miami University and played college football for the U when they were in their prime of football life. So it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that The Rock has a massive mansion with in Miami, and his mega mansion cost him a whopping $5.5 million. The place is glamorous both inside and out, including having a really cool pool and a lot of space to live in. Of course, being that he usually shoots in places like California and other spots, he doesn't get to live there all that often. But don't feel bad, he also spent $4.9 million in 2012 to buy another mansion in California. This is a classic trope of Hollywood that many celebrities are all too happy to partake in. I mean, why just live in a house when you can live in a mansion? And why just have a mansion? when you can have several. Now true, you can rational now true, you can rationalize these purchases by noting that The Rock does indeed travel and needs places like this all over the country so that he can be at home no matter where he's filming. But that's still many millions of dollars on houses. I'm just saying. Private Jet. When it comes to being a celebrity, there are various things that you would expect them to have because of the money that they own. One of the biggest things by far that they can get in terms of size and money cost is that of a private jet. It shouldn't be too surprising that The Rock has a jet given all that he does. But what is impressive about this jet, which costs him over $100 million at least, is that it's a luxury jet inside and out. What's more, it's a jet that is one of the fastest in the world today, proving that The Rock doesn't want to lose a single minute of his day. And if you really think about it, for someone like The Rock, a private jet isn't just necessary, it's vital. When he's not doing movies, he might be doing TV shows like the Titan Games, or he might be relaxing at home with his family, or he might be at his various gyms doing workouts to get back into rock hard shape. See what I did there? If it's not that, it's charity events or doing things for WWE and beyond. The Rock is a busy dude. In fact, he actually made a post about the film's Hobbs and Shaw, which got released into theaters, which of course was a major hit, and noted that for the first time in years, he was unemployed because he didn't have any movies or TV shows to film. A rare feeling for him, no doubt, but should that have changed the next day, the private jet would have taken him to where he needed to go. Rolex. I know this may seem like a low-key item in regards to someone like The Rock, but I promise there is a reason. You see The Rock as many things, but one thing that no one can deny is that he is an incredibly hard worker. From his time with the WWE to his acting career and his brand, he works hard to earn the millions he's now worth. But one time he couldn't even afford a good watch, so he bought himself a fake Rolex as a motivation to work hard and to keep pushing, and to one day get rid of his fake Rolex for a real one. Sure enough, once he had become a star in the WWE, he spent $35,000 on a real Rolex watch, something that he no doubt had a lot of joy in purchasing as it was a true fulfilling of his goal. The irony though is many fold. First and foremost, he broke that very Rolex while he was wrestling one time. A lesson to all who come into the business, don't wear fancy stuff in the ring. And then he decided not to replace it. But in a nice reversal while doing a movie once, he accidentally broke a fellow actor's nose, and so to apologize for what he did, he went and bought that guy a Rolex. What a class act. His acting. In regards to The Rock, you might think that because of all the time he spent in the WWF and WWE, that he had the perfect set of skills to transfer into acting. And in some ways he did. He certainly had the physique and the on-screen presence. But that doesn't mean that he was flawless to start. There's a big difference between acting for a wrestling audience and acting on a TV program or movie. If you watch some of his earliest performances, including a much aligned one on Star Trek Enterprise, you'll know that he didn't start out the best, but he put his pride to the side, something he's done a lot to be honest to get things done, and paid to get lessons and training on how to do better, something many actors have done, including some you'd be surprised about. With this help, he was able to grow as an actor and went from small-time movies 
recent Disney films to the Fast and Furious saga that he was not only in, but got a spin-off because of his great talent and the upcoming Black Adam film from DC Comics, which he has been waiting for years to do. So it may not seem like he had help, but he did, and he's very grateful for it. His talent team. You need to spend money to make money. And for The Rock, the transition from a WWE ring to the world of Hollywood was not as seamless as you may think. But The Rock had some good people at his back and were able to get him a lot of roles and parts even if they were just one shots and cameos. You might think that this wouldn't mean anything, but in Hollywood, it's everything. You need to stay relevant and get people talking about you. Think of the now numerous times that The Rock has been on Saturday Night Live, each more hilarious than the last. Seriously, watch his Bambi trailer. It's hilarious. Or how he and Jimmy Fallon were the first guys on the ever popular lip sync battle, in which The Rock won. And while he's not a full-time wrestler anymore, he knows when to make an appearance to electrify the crowd and get the buzz around him swirling once again. Or how about when he got a lot of praise for voicing Maui in Moana, or getting to be in Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw, or hosting his own TV show via the Titan Games, etc. He knew how to perform, but not get the gigs. His team helps with that, and that's money well spent. The stunt double. Wait, what? You say The Rock uses a stunt double? But he's The Rock. And yeah, I'm sure that may sound like a shock at first, but you need to remember the grander scope of the world of Hollywood. While some guys like Keanu Reeves learn all the moves to their fight scenes so that they can do the action seamlessly like in John Wick 3, that isn't an option for everyone, including guys like The Rock. Sure, in pure fight scenes, he likely does his own stunts, but in the more high-octane stuff like the car chases, the base jumps, and more, he needs help from a stunt double who is, pardon the pun, expendable. Not to mention, if The Rock had gotten seriously hurt in one of these stunts, the production of the film would be halted while they waited for him to heal, and they would thus be losing money, and The Rock wouldn't want that. To be clear, The Rock doesn't pay for his stunt double, but he does help take care of him. The two have worked together on many films, and so The Rock decided to reward him for his surface by buying the stunt double a very expensive new truck. Like I said, class act. And that goes to show just how much appreciation he has for the people in his life who don't get the daily credit like The Rock does. Stunt people are honestly one of the most underappreciated people in all of movies and TV. Sure, they do get paid well, but they don't get the recognition. The Rock realized this and made that his stuntman knew exactly how much he's appreciated. Food. Ever since his wrestling days, The Rock has had to learn to take care of his body. Not just in terms of his muscles, but in regards to what he eats and how he builds up his body so that it goes at maximum performance 24-7. To that end, he buys a lot of food in order to make sure he has the right vitamins, nutrients, and supplements going through his body. However, there is a catch to this, and it's called a cheat day. Oh yeah. You see, while The Rock understands that sometimes you just need to have a cheat day, you need to gorge yourself full on food in order to make yourself happy and feel good in the other ways that matter. But for The Rock, he kind of goes really far in it. Just go to his social media pages like Instagram, and you'll see just how far he takes his food obsession. He'll devour stacks of pancakes, he'll chow down on full plates of sushi, or whatever else is sounding pleasing to him. But don't worry, they don't stay on him for long. He works it off in record time and still looks like a boss. Yeah, we can't help but wonder, what's the biggest cheat day The Rock has ever done, and how much did it cost him? We'll likely never know, but it's interesting. Furthermore, if you could do a massive cheat day like The Rock, which food would you gorge out on? Let us know in the comments down below. The Farm. For many celebrities, the need to have a major home is almost like a requirement for their life. After all, if you have the money, why not have an expensive house in a big city? And trust me, The Rock has that. But being the humble guy he is, he also knows that sometimes you need to unwind, get away from it all. And to that end, he bought a farm in Virginia. Specifically, it's outside of Charlottesville, and it's on a huge property where he can just relax, unwind, be at peace with nature, and also, you know, own a farm. To that end, his farm has animals that he helps take care of, and snaps pictures with for social media. He can even go fishing nearby if he wants to do a relaxing hobby. We believe this shows a key part of The Rock that many people don't get to witness because he's usually in front of a camera. The Rock is honestly a down-to-earth guy when he's allowed to be Dwayne Johnson. Sure, he knows how to entertain, and he does it quite easily, but sometimes he just wants to be Dwayne, and we can respect that. It's a nice change of pace, and he has a family now, and so he likely takes them there to do some more natural things rather than just stay cooped up in the city. That doesn't mean he can't party in the cities of the world when he wants to. The trainer extension. Yeah, so remember the Miami mansion that we just mentioned? We forgot to mention something kind of important. You see, at one point, The Rock decided he needed to make that mansion even bigger, so he put $1 million into the house to get it extended. Why did he need that extension? That would be because he wanted to make a guest house for it. That's fair, right? Yeah, about that. The person who was going to be 
seat in that guest house was his personal trainer. He wanted his trainer to be able to be as close to him as possible so that they could take their workouts to the max without wasting time. As we've noted, and we're going to mention it again, I promise you that, The Rock doesn't like to waste time, and he loves to work out and make sure that his body is at peak condition as much as possible. So even the idea of losing 20 minutes because his trainer is on the way is unacceptable. So what if he can get the trainer to live with him via the guest house and ensure that they can get the most out of their workouts? You bet he's going to spend money to get that to happen. His charities. We mentioned it earlier, but when it comes to The Rock, he's a hard worker. His physique is due to his hard training, and his success in movies is due to his desire to get better as an actor and branch out into various roles. But while many celebrities let their success go to their heads, The Rock is not that. He's not that at all. Sure, he does act a little crazy at times, but that's usually to put on a show, more or less. When he's just by himself and admiring his successes, he's humbled by the gifts he's been given and the opportunities that he's had. So instead of hoarding all his riches to himself, he donates lots of money to charities all over the world. As if that wasn't enough, he then went and decided to make his own foundation, aptly titled the Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation. The foundation's focus is on the children of the world, mainly the ones who have disabilities and other issues that prevent them from succeeding in life. The charity works with them to help them get better or learn how to live with what they have. The Rock himself put many millions into this foundation and helps keep it funded. They've helped many children in the process and that proves just how priceless this particular purchase is, as well as how nice of a guy The Rock truly is as well. We often don't get to see or hear about the charitable work that celebs like The Rock and others get to do unless they're big news, but that kind of defeats the purpose of a charity unless it's a fundraising event. Part of the joy of charity is to do it when no one is watching and making sure that lives are indeed affected by what you're bringing to the table. The Rock knows better than most the struggles of living life at times, and he wants to make sure that those who are counted out aren't exactly down and out. The Iron Paradise The Rock is a workout freak, but he even takes this a bit far at times to make sure that he's always in shape. To that end, he made the Iron Paradise, which is a literal portable gym, which is literally a portable gym that he takes with him in order to keep in shape during his very busy schedule. He paid for all the equipment inside the gym and when it's time to travel, he pays for it to be transported all over, which can be cheap. I know this may seem like a weird way to spend his money, but you need to think about this not from your perspective, but from The Rock's. For him, staying in shape isn't just a necessity because of his Hollywood career, but because of his belief in what it means to be in shape. As we noted earlier, he hosted the Titan Games to help people push themselves to even greater feats of strength and skill. Heck, he's even more in shape now than he was during much of his wrestling career. Think about that for a bit. For The Rock, this isn't just about being in the best shape, it's about being in the best place when it comes to his body, mind, and spirit. For him taking even a single day off to not work out, or missing key training sessions because of a lack of resources, is a no-can-do situation, and you have to respect his dedication to make sure that this happens. And if you do think he's going too over board with this, by all means question him and see how that works out for you. We'll be right here watching and eating popcorn. And there you have it, a look at the rock and the crazy things that he spends his money on. Are you surprised by some of the things that he honestly does spend his money on? Do you think that he would have certain other things given the great amount of money that he has? Let me know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.